So that's tremendous. We really lucked out there. Let's just rest and get rid of our exhaustion, get our magic points back, and we're good. Power leap for the win. Man, that's a really good ability of Ruse. Now, here's the question. Which way do we go now? Do we want to go fight gargoyles, or do we want to go fight, you know, abominations and large abominations? Hey, hey, that beast. What is up, my friend? How you doing? Abominations say... They're immune to poison, so that doesn't work. Large abominations sound like a nightmare, but are they worse than molten gargoyles? <laughs> hey, hey, that beast. That sounds like an awesome trip. Did you have fun, my friend? No worries on missing the stream. Traveling is always cool. Those will come around again. Well, here's the question then. Who could I wreck more with Apocalypse? The, the bottom chamber... The bad guys can only get in from here and here. So there's natural choke points, but those also keep me fenced in. I believe the artifact ring... Um, oh, it just checks their hit points? All right, so, you know. 31. Wow, they do have bad hit points, but they have... Um, like some kind of damage shaving, right? Well, that sounds great, that beast. That's a perfect substitute for a family Thanksgiving is doing it with a friend. They're, oh, and so uh, uh, you're saying that Apocalypse does not check um, armor class, so I would just get a free hit on them. The Cat Oblipus is kind of annoying. He's going to be probably the only one that survives the apocalypse. Yeah, the Abomination can hit for 40. And this guy could hit for 3 dice 15 with its Bolt of Magma, but I think I resist... I have Fire Resistance. Okay. Alright, well... The Gargoyle's Path looks like they might be a little bit squishier and I can get out of it easier than I can the abomination path so I guess we can do that does brilliance help apocalypse at all or would it just help my spells Okay, Leviathan, thanks so much for stopping in, my friend. Have a great night. I think I'll go ahead and... Eh, I might not need brilliance. I might just pop over there. Hmm. There's a lot to consider. Okay, then... I can't move that Catablepus around too much. So I'm going to go ahead and... Um, now, Apocalypse is... Let me see this. All enemies in line of sight. Does um, Translucent Stone Wall... Like, is... 
is this guy in line of sight, this gargoyle that's behind a translucent stone wall, or does the translucent stone wall, um, it blocks Apocalypse? Okay, so then the only guy I could, guys I could see are these three dudes right here, unfortunately. It's an interesting call if I want to do it now or if I want to wait. You know what, Phil? Um, I found a bunch of lead slugs in the gate area that I went to for the quest for Argive, but I don't know if you're doing that quest or not. When I went to that gate, the, I found a bunch of slugs just in chests and from the enemies. You could also maybe try going to some of the other towns. I haven't visited them. All right. So the question is, do I want to fight right here? Or do I want to try to get to the ring and see if I can get more dudes on screen? Now, Snack, the only... Um, Oh, cool, Phil. Sounds like you're making good progress. Sounds like you got a gun, too, so you're probably doing all right. You you said you're a winged shooter. That sounds sweet. That is a different character type than mine, for sure. Um, the only thing I'm worried about with waiting a turn is that the Catablepus is going to put the, uh, the calcifying dust on my tile, and I'll have to move. Do you think it's it's smarter to wait one turn or to just preemptively blast the Catablepus um, with Wand of Acid? It could, but then I can't Apocalypse is my only... Right? Because I can't both Apocalypse and... Um, okay. Let me just Wand of Acid and try to soften. Oh, he didn't do it. Okay. Look at this. Did you see... Are you guys seeing this? The Catablepus tried to do something, but Rue's passive stunned him. So now we can see all four of them, and we can Apocalypse right here. And um, we killed them all, and then we somehow put the Catablepus to sleep. You reveal the great annihilating truth to your foes. The Catablepus is paralyzed by terrible understanding. Oh my god, how good is that? So, here's the question. Should I move back one square and cast Orb of Destruction, or should I just start nuking this dude right here with um, you know, Bolt of Magma or Searing Ray? Let me see what this guy is all about. Oh, he doesn't... He actually, I can poison him, so let's just uh, Toxic Radiance... Oh, he's still sleeping. Oh, you're right, because of the green crystal walls. Yeah, good. Oh, and the just the bad spacing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good point. Okay. Well, let's then... Um, I'm just going to poison his vapors him and put a bunch of poison and then just ignite it, and he's dead. And we got all of our life force back from doing Apocalypse. And I'm just going to get this ring. Whoa. This ring is not too bad, is it? Jeez. I mean, slaying is useless for us, but intelligence, will, and resist cold are all pretty nice. Um, I have, you know... Uh a plus four ring of protection, which I like. But I also have a ring of wizardry. I don't know if I can take that off and still be casting all of my spells as smoothly, but someday I will be able to. All right, get the money. Is that all the enemies that were over here? All right, cool. Well, apocalypse, everybody. That was awesome. 
That was a Rue. That was a Rue chamber. First Rue paralyzed, then Apocalypse, and then the lingering effect of Apocalypse put the Catabolipus to sleep. How about that? Okay, so now it's just the Minotaur, which I admittedly am a bit afraid of. Let's see. Uh-oh. Oh, does the Minotaur not come out until I open the door? Let me make sure of that. Yeah. Darn. This is going to be weird. All right. Um, I probably want to be radiating poison. I don't know if he's immune or resistant. I can't recall offhand. Um, but I'm going to just do it. Oh, there he is. Okay. Oh, I miscast. Oh, my God. Oh, God. I miscast it. That's bad. Okay. Wow, look at those ice dragon scales that that uh, Minotaur has on. Goodness gracious. Plus nine ice dragon scales. Well... Um, I can't train armor, so I won't be wearing those. Okay, he's still poisoned, though. Alright, we just killed him with poison and uh, ignite poison. He, he didn't like poison, so there's that. Okay. Up to 32 MP, and I'm going to pick up the armor just because it's cool looking. And then, what do we got? <laughs> the boots of parlor games. Oh, that's right. Because of the scales, his fire resistance was even worse. Isn't that awesome? Um, I'll pick up all these. That's good. Anything else in here? Oh, that's right. Minotaur zombies. Okay. Okay. Ow. Uh-oh. This thing... This thing is hard to hit. It's hitting me hard, too. Good lord. This Minotaur zombie is harder than the Minotaur. Alright. I'm gonna have to use... Uh, power Leap to get away from this thing. Here, let me actually step back one. I'm going to leap out of the way and then move over here. All right. This thing just took an orb of destruction to the face. I am not opening another door for these zombies. They only... Did they not even drop treasure? <laughs> Get out of here. Nah, that's not a good situation for me. Okay. I'm gonna put on the boots, and I'm gonna see if I can, uh... Take advantage of the ring that I got and still cast spells, but let's go up the steps first. All right, we survived it. And let me go up again. Take that. Get out of here. Get out of here. All right, we're going to go up. We're going to rest. You know, Phil, also, if you get to the end of that quest where I was... They also, there's a merchant down there at the bottom of that in the, the canticles of Baron Thrum or whatever that you might be able to buy slugs from. Hey, Key, what is up, my friend? Good evening. Yes, I love your philosophical take. It is, right? Yeah, Phil, like at the bottom of that gate, when you get to the place that Argive wants you to go to deliver that 
data disk, then they let you, um, there's a merchant there. After you get the quest, you can talk to them again, and they'll open the gate and let you buy from their merchant, and maybe he has some slugs. Um, yeah, that's right. The treasures are all the fond memories that we create, right? That's the real treasure. Or the damage that we take. All right, let's put on, um, these boots. We lose an armor class, but we get smarter. And then we can... I'm going to put on this ring here and see what happens. Oh, wait, I didn't put it on. Put on this ring, take off the ring of wizardry, and then... Almost there. <laughs> That's right. I'm going to keep it like this. Even though I go to 5% on Orbit Destruction, um, what this means for me is... I now have a three will and a two resist cold out of the deal for one more percent fail on uh, orbit destruction. I think it's pretty reasonable. Oh, and we got a scroll. What is this? Torment. Hey, good to know. Don't we all love torment? Yes, we do. All right. And let's keep it going. Oh, and... uh. Snack, if you could refresh my memory. I'm sure I can just see it on this screen, but if I got six piety on Rue, did you say all that does is just increase the potency of the abilities that you have? Because Rue has offered me new sacrifices, and I could take them. Well, I can't sacrifice Arcana. The only one that I could really... I don't want to sacrifice Evasion, either. The only one I could reasonably take is Love. And I don't know if it's worth it. One idea is I could um, reject the sacrifices and just wait for new ones. Because I only need, like, a pretty basic one. And I don't particularly want to do some of these. Oh, look at all these yaks. Hey, yaks. Look at all this. This is my poison, and this is the ignition of the poison. Ignition. So far away. Take that, frogman. Alright, let's roll. Bam, bam, bam. Dead frog. Oh, rhyme drake, huh? Um. Alright, that's a dead rhyme drake. Cool. And it's Urug. Urug is actually a problem. A bunch of javelins. Alright. Okay. That was a double double whammy for Urug. Urug didn't throw a javelin at us, which is fantastic. So we hit Urug with a four exclamation point orb of destruction, and p she was poisoned, and we ignited the poison all in one round. That was, I mean, we blew up Urug like th in several different ways simultaneously. Pretty rough. Plus three evening star. Not too shabby.
All right, here we come. Orb of Destruction. Take it. Uh, water Moccasin. You get the Searing Ray, Water Moccasin. Five-Headed Hydra. Sure. All right, I'm going to go into Abilities. I'm going to reject the Sacrifices. Yep. And I'm going to just give this to you. And then back off. And then maybe Bolt of Magma. Yeah, that'll do. All right, Komodo. We're ready to talk to you. Hmm. Maybe not. Maybe we're not ready to talk to you. It was a weird, a weird sequence, but we did it. Hmm. All right, let's go. Sif Mona. Well, well, well. We won't be switching. take that cancellation huh well I guess we can use cancellation it's helpful if you're marked or about to get petrified actually I can't remember if it works on that or not but you get the drift all right um All right, here we go. Now, that was a massive amount of things that we just killed. I really enjoy that, I have to say. All right. Well, we're 11th level, which is good, and we're moving on to the third level of the lair. We also... Bog Body is a jerk. Bog Body is a complete jerk. Uh, 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 immune to poison, eh? All right, Bog Body. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna roll this orb at you. And look at that, he tried to cast a spell, but he was stunned by our conviction. Yes, we've won. Hey, Zygo, what is up, my friend? You've only just started playing it? It's a fantastic game, my friend. I've been playing it for a decade, I believe, here, and I'm playing in web tiles myself. Love the game. It is so brutally hard, and yet tremendously fun. If you have any questions, Zygo, please feel free to ask. There are some people here in the chat who are quite knowledgeable about this game. And sometimes, if the question is basic enough, I can give an answer. I'm going to cast this spell. Oh, we dodged it. That's out of order. There you go. You're not going to dodge that second wooden. Mr. Bog Body. How we doing? 56%. Love it. I could honestly very, very easily switch over uh, to the my ring of wizardry and maybe cast some of these bigger spells. Let's just do this. 
And boy, this chain toad does not care. Not impressed. There we go. Oh, you redirect the cane toad's attack. The cane toad stings itself. See, that was from Rue. My magic didn't kill it. Rue killed it. Love it. Huge fan of that outcome. Ooh, look at this screen. This is called what we call in the business a free absolute obliteration. Actually, it's not going to be. It, it's close, but I don't have the MP. These death yaks have so many hit points. That's what we're looking for, Crispy. Oh, by the way, Crispy, did you finally get your headlights? Or are they still coming in? I feel like it's going to be a good 2022 because you finally got the truck, Crispy. I just have a good feeling. All right, we killed them all. Move this over here. Oh, come on, buddy. You don't need to fight me. Yeah, you do, apparently. Here we go. All right. Um, all right, time to turn off fighting because we lost our manual in it. I'll train evocations a bit. Dodging actually wouldn't hurt at all at this point. I'm going to switch off of all of my big things and just... I think I'll get a huge return right now if I pump into dodging and evocations. Oh, I got you, Crispy. Yep, yep, yep. Privacy is key. Nice. Man, that Orb of Destruction did a, like a 180 on that guy. That's what you get. No one dodges my Orb of Destruction. Now oh, this guy did not dodge it, but he also didn't get killed instantly. Alright. What is this scroll? Immolation. Terrifying. Alright, let's see if there's any more yaks. Yep, where there's one, there's many. Hey, level 12. Make me smart. You know what, Zygo? I actually uh, have made that point as well. Hey, hey, bloody, what's up, my friend? Good evening. The god system in Dungeon Crawl is uh, second to none. It's, they're all different. They all have very unique abilities and they're hilarious. The flavor on the gods is hysterical. Um, that is ridiculously expensive, Crispy. For lights, my goodness. I hope there's some nice lights. I mean, so I like it too. Zygo. I mean, Zom is unbelievably funny. I'm actually Rue right now, and so uh... Man, this is quite the investment, Crispy. Someday I want to spend that much money on a car myself. I have uh, sacrificed an eye and my ability to train armor to experience levels and made myself clumsy, all in the name of Rue. I hope so, Snack. And see, that's the only, um, the only gripe I would have with the god system in Dungeon Crawl is that some of them I tend to use way more frequently than others because they just seem stronger. And the other ones, like, are more of a challenge. If they balanced them, that would be amazing. You got that right, Crispy. I was just going to say the same thing. You've been doing all those, like, long weeks, the long overtime and everything. So you certainly deserve to treat yourself. 